So what's going on everyone? I appreciate you clicking on today's vlog. Look at that. You can see my eyeball and I can see out of it. Uh, my eye has gotten a lot better and I appreciate everyone's concerns. Um, I've never had a reaction like that before. I am thinking it's just the area that I got stung. You know, your eyes, your skin is kind of elastic -y and just the swelling uh, that I got from it kind of exaggerated because of the area. Today, what we're gonna be working on is one of those small projects that needs to get done, and that is upgrading the Chickshaw. Uh, there's a few things that I need to fix that I, I'm really concerned about. Um, one is the wheels and also this roof. Uh, this roof got destroyed by our amazing force of wind around here, so that needs to be fixed uh, because we're gonna be making a big move. We're gonna be changing up the chicken coops. Uh, we're gonna be putting the chickens back in the chick shawl and having them out in the pasture and have them moving. And we're gonna change the current coop into a massive chicken brooder. Um, I wanna be able to put two to possibly 300 birds in there at some point. Um, not this year, I'm looking for you know down the road. Taking those steps right now to improve our process and just I mean, anyways, this needs to get upgraded anyways, so what better time to do it because when we're moving it out in the pasture, I don't want something to fail, especially when there's, you know, 40 to 50 chickens in here. Uh, this chick shawl is six by six. It could t technically house uh, around 60 birds, 50 to 60 birds comfortably. I did a count. Uh, we have 50 birds, 52 birds. Um, I might have missed a few because some of them um, sleep in the woods. So let's get to work. I got my helpers here. Gerana's doing homeschool with the boys. And Remy's off riding his bike somewhere. Um, we're trying to get everyone off of training wheels. So that's a fun adventure, an interesting adventure because there's a lot of falling down. So let's get to work on this, all right? As you guys can see, right here, the, the wheels, the current setup I have, the wheels are kind of bending under the weight. So what I'm gonna do to try to correct this is basically put a two by four, the entire length across and screw it in. And I'm hoping that will be enough support because I don't wanna have to redo this whole thing because it's gonna, it would be a big project and I'm trying not to make it that way. I'm just trying to fix the issues. I mean, eventually, just like anything, things break down. I mean, I might have to rebuild this anyways. So I don't want to get into that. I just want to um, correct the issue properly right now. That way it doesn't break down in the field like I said. It actually turned out really good. The wheels are all straight. I'm fairly confident it's gonna stay. That's awesome. So the next thing I gotta work on is the roof. I ended up using two by twos last time and I think it was too light for the wind that we have here and it just completely got ripped off the hinges. So I'm gonna make it a little bit heavier, a little bit more beefier with some two by fours and I'm gonna make it like a cap. Before I just had it almost like right on top of here. I'm gonna have it come over and have it be a cap. Like I said, the problem is I don't think my roof metal is gonna be long enough. So I'm gonna have to improvise. We do have some leftover stuff over at the junkyard. However, we're running out. Uh, it's been used up on all types of projects around here. So that's a little bit disappointing. However, I have it. Might as well use it, save a little cash. I got the roof all framed out. I'm actually gonna set it on top of the chick saw before I get the metal roofing on, just in case I need to switch anything up. I'm also gonna put down an extra couple of latches because I don't want it to blow off 
just like our trampoline did because as you guys know we get crazy winds around here and you just really don't know when they're gonna come I mean you can't really forecast that it, it, they just shoot down from the mountain and just and we don't know so I want this to be secure especially out in the pasture we got a lot of animals out there now but I don't want anyone to get hurt I had to actually completely redo the roof. I put it on and it was way small. So I just ended up doing it real fast. And I ended up having to switch up the design because I ran out of two by fours. So I got these cross beams and it should work for my roofing. Uh, but, and that's the next step. And then I'm pretty much done. Gerana is wrapping up school. I do have to figure out a new door. That's not really serious. Um, I have accomplished the two things that I really wanted to get done. But let's get this metal roofing on. So my plan's actually gone awry. My roofing, since my measurements were wrong on the roof frame, my roofing is too short now. So now I gotta go cut up some sheet metal and I don't have enough. I know I don't have enough, so this project might have to be finished another day, which I'm kind of bummed out about because I have a little window to get stuff done, and this was it, and now I'm gonna have to re-find a window to finish this project, and I don't like leaving things hanging because we got big moves ahead, and I wanna get stuff accomplished. Uh, let me go see what we got, and I'm just gonna try to whip this out. Check this out guys, I was just out at the junkyard and I just happened to see something on the, our apple oh tree. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And it is a praya mantis' nest hatching. Oh my gosh, look at, that. look at all those. That is so cool. We have these nests everywhere along our property and I wanna go try to find some and see if we yeah, got some more. I mean, there, there are hundreds of them right now. This is awesome because this is so good for the garden. Oh my goodness, the bugs, heck yeah. Look at them, I've never seen that before. Look, they're just... They're everywhere. It's like, um... They're just like oozing out of it. It's like Charlotte's It's like web. Charlotte's Web, I was just gonna say that. It's like Charlotte's Web. Isn't that Look cool? Look at that, oh my goodness. Look at that jet. I wanna put, put one butt. on my finger. No. I wanna put one on my finger. Do you know praying mantises are supposed to be or is it praying manti? I don't know. They're supposed to be really good pets. What? They you can are. eat stuff out of your hands, right? Yeah. Wait. Man, that is so cool. Man, seeing creation, that is amazing. All right, well, I got the tin on the roof. I ended up having to use stuff from the junkyard and I used what I originally had and it all worked out at the end. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I just gotta clean up the tools, do a couple other odds and ends. I'm gonna add some brackets on the door, and then I gotta fix the egg door where we get the eggs at. And other than that, it's a wrap for this. I really appreciate you guys tuning in today. Please, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and leave some comments, all right? Let me know what you guys are doing with growing your own food. If you guys are, um, you have to have eggs, meat. I have a lot of you guys reaching out to me, showing me your guys' garden, you know, planting in pots, planting in raised beds. I really appreciate those pictures and your, your guys' testimony. It's amazing to hear and see. So please hit me up on my email, uh, go to my Instagram and, or in Facebook, you guys have been reaching out to me on Facebook. So again, I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys around. Hit that subscribe button.